Oh yeah. What's going on YouTube? Uh, it's been a long ass time since I made a video, almost a year. So I was uh, speaking to a friend of mine today actually and he was interested in learning about SS wire builds. So I'm making this video for him and for all of you guys because I haven't seen that many videos about SS wire as of yet. So I am going to be doing a dual coil build on this Kennedy RDA and it is run in temp control mode and yeah it gets down the flavor is amazing so let's get to it okay so for this build I'm going to be using the Kennedy RDA I'm going to be using 24 gauge stainless steel wire and I'm going to cut two pieces around four or five inches long and I'm going to be wrapping them around a three millimeter micro screwdriver and these wraps do not have to be tight like a micro coil I have not tried a micro coil yet with this to do is uh, give a little tug on each lead and get the slack out and then as you can see that's really not very even so what I'll do is I'll take a, a very fine tipped flathead screwdriver and I'll just kind of try and space them out a little bit more evenly kind of like so and then all I do is give it a squish just like that actually give this one more tug and then we'll move on to the second coil so again, this is going to be seven wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just pull your leads straight. Again, fix your spacing and this just makes it so when you squish it at the end it uh, just looks a little more even Squish it. And there's your second coil. So that's two coils, seven wraps around a three millimeter screwdriver. And then we're going to install them.
what I like to do personally is get it right about where you want it to go snip off the excess from your center post and then you can pull that one out and repeat the same process with your second coil And the reason I did that is just so that when I I set this coil in where I want it to be, I'll tighten down my negative. Not super tight, just snug enough to hold it. Then when I put in my second coil, I don't have a whole bunch of wire sticking through that I cannot get at. And as per usual, it always decides to be much more difficult on camera. There we go. So that one's set. I'd also like to take this opportunity to say that uh, some RDAs, if you snug down, your, usually it's your negatives too tight, that uh, the screws will actually cut the wire. This is one of those drippers. So you don't want to snug it down too tight, especially with SS wire because it is a softer metal. about good and snug down your positive connection and there we go Can uh, snip off our excess wire. And you're left with uh, two coils. So now we can straighten them out a bit and work them around. And they will tighten up when I uh, push them in here. Actually, maybe I can do it facing the camera. They're going to snug up more like a micro coil as soon as I attempt to move them over. But again, if you really want to.
be a stickler, you can just give it one of those. And there you go. Two stainless steel coils, seven wraps around a three millimeter screwdriver. So now I think uh, we'll throw this on a, another device. And it's important to remember that when you uh, when you put it on there, you want to lock it, lock the resistance. There she goes. And I'm going to turn this way down for this build. Take it down to about 340. Actually, before I start, um, this should, in theory, on a temperature-controlled build at 340 degrees, should not dry burn or burn the cotton if I hit the fire button. So let's test that theory. I got little wisps of smoke. Oh. Okay, well, there you have it. We'll have to uh, try that again. Okay, I went and cleaned up the cotton. The batteries were about to die, so we'll put some fresh batteries in. And I'm not sure why the temperature control did not kick in, but it didn't. So, troubleshoot that quickly. So I'm just basically going to reset everything. I'm going to unlock it.
screw this back on. And I already think I know what I did wrong. So there we are. 0 0.21 ohms before I lock it in this time. Oh. Nope. I don't know, usually it'll give me the option of saying new coil up or new coil press up or same coil press down. It isn't doing that. Oh well, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to bother showing the dry burning of the cotton. I'm going to relock it again. And uh, re wick it one more time. Actually, no, that is our Kimmy. Let's turn this right down 200 degrees. No, oh, no, temperature protection. Uh, temperature protection. So whatever the, the burning point of this cotton was, it is obviously less than 340 degrees. Okay, give this one more try, see what happens. Temp control, no burning. Two fifty. No burning. Temp control. Okay. I just had it turned up too high. So now we're just going to take uh, some of our favorite juice, whatever that so happens to be. Turn the temp control up to about 430. She's getting down. All right, I'm going to take the camera back up and uh, finish this video off. So that was it. That was the, uh, that's your dual coil build. Temperature controlled. I'm only running it at what? 56 watts. I mean, that's nothing really. And it's just, it works great. You can turn the temperature and the wattage up and turn it into a fog machine. I'm kind of quite happy with it. 
the way it is the vapor production is on point and it's got some intense flavor I think personally stainless steel wire is going to be the new what do you want to call it the new wire basically of 2016 we'll see how it catches on but I mean I don't think I'll ever buy a roll of canthal again even when you're not running it in temperature control and just straight up power mode it's it's just awesome the flavor on it is far superior to canthal I prefer it personally over uh, nickel wire and titanium wire and it's just so much easier to build with uh, this stainless steel wire is very soft it's a very soft metal compared to canthal so it doesn't spring out like the canthal does um, it stays it keeps its form a lot better I just think all around this this wire is the way to go I would just be much happier if more vendors started carrying it and it wasn't so hard to track down but overall I highly recommend, it doesn't have to be this exact build. I have not tried micro coils as of yet. I can't see that big of a difference. It's This is working pretty good. So, yeah, enough about SS. Um, I haven't done any YouTube videos for like almost a year. And I'm just going to touch on this quickly before I go. I kind of got to a point last year where vaping as not a community, more like as just its own genre was moving so fast. I don't really get a lot of stuff sent to me for free or didn't before. Um, so going out and buying these things, it's like, you know, you go out and get the latest, greatest stripper. Two weeks later, the version two is out or the version three or whatever version. And it was just getting expensive and stupid because really they all ultimately are doing the same thing something you know there's little differences here or there and that one might have some stroke of creative genius in the way it's built but ultimately it all does the same shit so it just got to the point where it was like I'm throwing away money for what um, I do want to start making videos again a lot has happened in the last year I mean when I was last making videos regulated mods were just kinda of coming back in in a big way uh, now I'm, it almost seems as though if you see somebody using a tube mod it's like a relic from the stone age so um, a lot's happened uh, sub tanks I love these things man they're better than RTAs I get better flavor off of this RTA than most rippers I've ever built on with Canthal I should say but uh, yeah RTAs seem to be coming in in a big way and they're the way to go I'd like to do a couple videos on a couple of them so I am going to do a couple more videos with reviews, but I'm not going to be doing so many reviews as I am just uh, maybe vlogs, tutorials, things of that nature. So, yeah, I am going to be getting the channel up and going again. But anyhow, I'm going to wrap this video up with that. To Gordon, I hope this answered your question. Um, yeah, uh, if you need to know where to pick up SS wire in Canada I can let you know just uh, message me in the comments below and with that I'm gonna let everybody go so have a good evening and uh, happy holidays